All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And I uh, just want to do a quick lesson. I was watching the brother's live stream, and the brother brought this scripture out. And uh, just, you know, music. You know, to the ears, to the hopeful elect, which I uh, hope to be a part of, Lord's willing, you know. And um, this is music and to be reminded, you know, these scriptures is here to warn you, all right, to reprove you, to rebuke you, you know, to correct you. And it's also for your knowledge to know, okay, but it's also too, all right, to remind you of things you once knew. All right, the Lord woken up his elect throughout the four corners, his prophets, and they're speaking, okay, and putting out and pushing his truth. Now, I'm going to read into it. This is Ezekiel 39 and 17. And thou, son of man, thou, uh, and thou, son of man, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, speak unto every feathered flower and to every beast of the field. Assemble yourself and come. Gather yourself on every side to my sacrifice that I do sacrifice for you, even the great sacrifice upon the mountains of Israel, that ye may eat flesh and drink blood. Ye shall eat the flesh of the mighty and drink the blood of the princes of the earth, of rams, of lambs, and of goats, of bullocks. <sighs> Satan, boy. It says, of lambs, of goats, of bullocks, all of them fattling of Bashan. And ye shall eat the fat till ye be full, and drink blood till ye be drunken. Of my sacrifice, which I have sacrificed for you, thus ye shall be filled at my table with horses and chariots, with mighty men, and with all men of war, saith the Lord Yahweh. And I will set my glory among the heathen, and all the heathen shall see my judgment that I may execute, that I have executed, and my hand that I have laid upon them. So the house of Israel shall know that I am the Lord, Yahweh, their power from that day and forward. All right. And that's exactly what's going to happen when the Lord execute his judgment upon the heathen especially upon the house of Edom, you know, and the rest of you nations, the Moabites, and so on, the world is going to know who the Lord is for, all right? Like it says, it says, and I will set my glory among the heathen, and all the heathen shall see my judgment that I have executed, and my hand that I have laid upon them, all right? Because what's going to really you know, take these uh, Edomites out. It's going to have to be the Lord. All right. We're in no condition, no power, you know, to do anything against these Edomites in their structure. But Yahweh Shai does. And you even got the king of Babylon, Donald Trump, you know, making mention of the Lord's air force. All right. Which is his chariots that flies within our heavens, right up in the sky, right above me. Okay, making mention of the Lord's chariots. All right, it's fully known now that what they call UFOs, all right, even your government is telling you that they're here. And for us, of the hopeful elect that believe in Yahweh, Bashem Yahushua, with our faith, He gave us the knowledge, man. All right, the knowledge, the wisdom, and the understanding. And the knowledge is. Is that what you call UFOs, we call them IFOs, identifying flying objects, man. All right? And guess what? Those, those vehicles of which you see in the heavens from time to time, they're the vehicles that's going to deliver the elect. So let's read this again. Verse 21, Ezekiel 39 and 21. And I will set my glory among the heathen, and all the heathen shall see my judgment that I have executed 
and my hand that I have laid upon them. So the house of Israel shall know that I am the Lord, Yahweh, their power from that day and forward, man. That's music, man. That's music. All right. Who is the house of Israel? You Israelites, you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians, man. Okay. You are the house of Israel. And the scriptures say, shall know that I am the Lord, Yahweh. All right. Yahweh is the father's name. Yahweh Shah is the son's name. All right. And it says their God, which represents God, means what? Allah power, meaning your power. Our Father, which is in heaven, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, that sits on the right side of the Lord, is our power, man. That's why we that's why you have to call upon your power and pray. Okay? Because the Lord is our power. Alright? He's the power that govern this whole universe. Matter of fact, the scriptures say he um he governs the universe in the palm of his hand. Okay? Let's continue. Verse 23. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity. Because they trespassed against me, because they trespassed it against me, therefore hid I my face from them and gave them into the hand of their enemies. So fell they all by the sword. All right. Now that's the reason. You also, you know, you could read Baruch, the fourth chapter. That could precept this scripture here this verse verse 23 all right because the reason why we're in the condition and all the lowest you know what they say the the first to get fired and the last to hide to get hired all right that you know we've been putting this uh condition through the lord man all right the lord did this to us man let me read that again and the heathen shall know that the house of israel went into captivity for their iniquity because they trespassed against me therefore hid I my face from them and gave them into the hand of their enemies so fell they all by the sword and this is not the first time in which the Israelites fell into captivity this is our last time I should say this is our last time okay and the Lord hid his face so how do you seek the Lord face today? You got to read the scriptures, man. You got to learn from your teachers, from the apostles and elders, man, from the prophets that's out speaking his truth. And you got to listen to the truth. You know, the most high got to guide you. All right. In the right spirit to get the hundred percent truth, man. All right. It says, verse 24, according to their uncleanness and according to their transgressions, have I done unto them and hid my face from them so it's showing you that the lord hid his face from us man okay he hid his face from us and now the lord you know is is showing his face to us all right even though you know to the ungodly they may not see it but we see it the lord is fulfilling prophecies okay he's fulfilling prophecies everything that is happening right now while we're in quarantine it was all prophesized man and it's only going to get worse from here on out, okay? Because the Lord is about to bring down these Edomites, and he's about to uplift Jacob, all right, and bring our kingdom on this earth, man. When Yahweh Shai cracked those clouds, when he come out of that portal, all right, from the fourth dimension, and take this kingdom from you Edomites, man. But before then, prophecy got to be fulfilled. So it says, according to their uncleanness, and according to their trust, and according to their transgressions, have I done unto them, and hid my face from them therefore thus saith the lord yahweh now will i bring again the captivity of jacob and have mercy upon the whole house of israel and will be jealous for my holy name <laughs> all right and as you know also the lord said he's what a jealous power man he's a jealous power and right now these edomites got us in their possessions Trust and believe that we're in the hands of Esau right now. And he's treat he's mistreating us. He's abusing us. He's killing us. You know, he's doing all types of things to us, man. And it's just a matter of time until he really show his horns, you know, and show his true colors. All right. Right in your face, man. When he take you out of your home, 
when he strip you from your family, you know, when he forces you to take his chip, which is the mark of the beast, all right, when he forces you to take a vaccine, all you people here in the world, you're going to realize who the devil is that the Bible speaks of, all right? They're taking away, we basically, you don't really have any rights anymore, all right? And that's good. That's good because it's according to Bible prophecy. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, man. It says, therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, will I bring again the captivity of Jacob and have mercy upon the whole house of Israel and will be jealous for my holy name. Because we carry around the name of the Lord, man. All right, not you Amalekites that's in the land of Israel right now that claim to be the Israelites. We're the Israelites, we're the scattered Jews, the lost sheep. Well, guess what? We're not lost anymore. All right. The Lord, the scriptures say, seek the Lord while he may be found. The Lord, the Lord right now can be found, man. And, do, and, and the elect is, is, uh, is coming home. All right. To Yahweh Barshem Yahweh Shai. Verse 26. After that, they have borne their shame and all their trespasses whereby they have trespassed against me when they dwell safely in, the, in their land and none made them afraid. When I have brought them again from the people, excuse me. It says, when I have brought them again from the people and gathered them out of their enemies' land, and I am sanctified in them in the sight of many nations, man. Okay? <laughs> when the Lord appear, when the Lord start, you know, delivering his elect, when brothers receive spiritual powers, okay, performing the miracles which Yahweh Shai did, and Yahweh Shai said, we shall even do more greater works than what he done. You know, and, and that's and that's amazing, man. Something to think about, man. Because, you know, in my, my little my thick skull, you know, I can't imagine, you know, what's what's more, you know, more than what the Lord Yahweh Shah have done. You know, what more could we do? You know, only thing I could think of is probably fly. But other than that, the Lord said it, man. Alright, so anyway. When I have brought them again from the people and gathered them out of their enemy's land. Right now we're in uh, enemy's land. He came and stole his land from the Gadites and the Reubenites. All right. The so-called native and Seminoinians. They took it and stolen his land. They made it theirs. They called the lands after their own names. We're in their possession. It says, and gather them out of their enemy's lands. And I'm sanctified in them in the sight of many nations. Because all you nations, you Moabites, you Hamites, you Japhites, you Ishmaelites, all y'all going to see. All right? All of y'all going to see, man. It says, then shall they know that I am the Lord Yahweh, their power, which caused them to be led into captivity among the heathen. But I have gathered them unto their own land and have left none of them any more there. Neither will I hide my face anymore from them. It says, For I have poured out my spirit upon the house of Israel, saith the Lord, man. And that's because the Lord is going to be with us forever, man. And ever and ever. As is written in Daniel's. Uh, what's that? I think it's Daniel 7. Let me see. Read this and I'm out. Okay, this is Daniel chapter 7, verse 18. But the saints, who are the saints, the Israelites, but the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. All right, now let's jump to 27. It says, And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and all dominion shall serve and obey him, man. You know, I wanted to bring that up. Like I said, I saw a brother pull the scripture and it was music, man. Music. Music, man. You know, call halal la yahah bashim yahah shai, man. Because we're at the end, man. This is it, man. You know, just a few months left prophecies and, and guess what? Our kingdom is coming in. And we got to have that faith, man. You know, you know, brothers who are sincere and serious minded, serious minded in his truth, man, we want the kingdom, man. We want it even more, man, you know, now that we're nearer. But it's going to take, you know, uh, great faith to get there. And that's something that, um, you know, us brothers pray for, man. You know, so may the Lord, 
you know, give us that faith, that endurance, that strength, all right, that courage to bear whatever it is we got to go through, you know, because after that, we're going to be, we're going to be all right, you know, and it's going to be a glorious feeling to have your eyes fixed upon the wicked being destroyed, man, letting the heathens uh, be, be uh, taken down by Yahweh Shai and the angels, man. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.